Shalom, this is Sophia, the Amerukan Maryam, coming at you live and direct from the beach. Um, I want to try to, uh, I guess, connect some dots, put some stuff together, and I've been holding off on it because I haven't been um, able to get uh, my proper grounding. Um, and I also wanted to get my thoughts together. One of the things that um, is has been told to me and is being impressed upon me is that um, there are a lot of people out there who have not gotten their charts and gotten a reading from me. Now, I understand that there's a lot of people out there who do readings, who do charts. You can get the charts for free and all of that okay i'm not i'm not saying anything about any of that however the thing that i can do that other readers can't do and other astrologers can't do is that i can go into the actual spirit realm and get confirmation of the information so for example I did a reading for a sister last year, one of my very first readings that I did. And she called me last night and she said, you cannot give up on doing readings because this is how our people will unlock their superpowers. So she went on to ask me about um, human design, which is something that I was talking about last year. Nobody was really interested. And so she was saying that everything that I said in her reading has literally shown up every time she goes to look for more information about certain placements in her chart. And without understanding her chart the way that, that she did as a result of my reading, she would, she, she would not be able to figure out how to unlock uh, the power that she has within her. And these are all things that I told her when I did her reading. I didn't know this woman from anywhere when I did her reading. She just paid for a reading and I, and I did a reading for her. So um, what I'm asking for is for, see, but the, the readings, I can't do them in my current state because I like the way that I was doing the readings before and I don't have the ability to do them like that right now. So, being that this was said to me, I'm asking the Most High to make it so that I can get into a, a position where I can do readings like that again, the way I used to do them. Even the cards, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to do the cards the way that I used to do them. Every, like when I was doing a daily prayer, I had a setup. It was kind of like a studio, you know. I want to be able to operate like that, um, except with some slightly better equipment. Because I look back on my readings and I'm like, oh my gosh, the camera stopped. The processing wasn't good. It's a lot of, you know, just little stuff that, that doesn't take a lot to fix. But um, upgrade, you know, cards and all that stuff. You know what I mean? So... Because the whole point of me doing the readings, I, I shared one of my, the, the very first Urim and Thummim reading I did, what I realized when I was doing that research was that we are the superpower. We, we are those super beings. We, it, is, it is within us. What the Most High has to do on this planet is not going to come from outside of us. It's going to come from within us. And if we don't know what that looks like for us then we can't possibly go on to the next stage and it's my belief that we've only gotten as far as we have because there's people who have done the research and the work on themselves enough to open the door but if we want to see the the rebuilding of the third temple if we want to see um the bringing down of new jerusalem that's something that's going to have to be built within us first and then we'll see it on the greater stage. And so while I feel like, you know, what we have done as far as our prayers and our fasting and stuff has been, um, you know, very helpful, very useful. Um, 
has had an impact, the impact I really want to see is on the youth, is on the young people, is on, you know, people not having to go through all of this crap they've been going through um, just because, you know, they don't know their chart. They don't know how to deal with problems when they come up. They don't know how to process, um, you know, some of this past life karma. They haven't done karma cleanses and all this stuff. Like, you know, that you don't own yourself. You don't own your name. All of these things go together. These are not, you know, separate things. You don't know how to heal yourself. You can't heal yourself. All of these things go together. All of these things go together. And so, um, you know, it's not really something anybody can actually do about that. I'm just, I just wanted to share my thoughts because, you know, almost everyone I've done a reading for, um, cause some people, once I did their reading, I didn't hear from them cause I know that they're, they're quite harsh. Um, and they're not necessarily stuff that you want to hear, but just about everybody I've done a reading for has, has said, wow, I, this reading is exact. This reading is precise. And it's not me. I don't, I mean, I'm not even really an astrologer. I just kind of got into astrology once I realized, oops, that sun was super bright. I just kind of got into astrology once I realized how it should, how it could be used to help us, you know, advance to the next level. I, I'm, I wasn't, you know, and then I went into the spirit realm and got the information. And I think part of this whole process is, ooh, that sun was bright. Oh my gosh. I feel like a cool breeze um, putting this thing down. Um, <laughs> part of this process is, is really coming to terms with my own information, my own superpowers quote unquote my own abilities and how I can share those abilities with other people because it's no good having a bunch of abilities and you don't have a way to share them so what I've tried to do is to take every skill and every ability that I have and turn it into something that can be scalable you know so that other people can have access to it without it necessarily being attached to me and um I do understand that that's not really how people think. Um, see, I got my cover today. The other day was too much. Um, it's not really how a lot of people think, but it is how I think about things. Because I'll tell you guys another story. So the other day I was on the phone with a sister. She got a spam call but the spam call was 10 ones in a row and i was like okay that's a message let's see what does that message mean so as we began to research whatever it was we we're talking about we stumbled across this information of catherine the great and i'm still going to do another video on this but i'll just put this in here now because catherine the great is the archetype of our mother and that's what it says. It's like this is common knowledge amongst tarot people. They just, the Empress, she, Catherine the Great is literally the, uh, the embodiment of the Empress energy. And that's because she became the, um, she became the queen or the, imp, the, the, um, the leader, the queen, I guess it was the queen of Russia even though she wasn't a Russian, by usurping the power from her husband and, and doing an insurrection. That's why they're so worried about all this talk about insurrections, because that is how the queen, Queen Victoria, uh, Queen Catherine, took the power from Peter and Russia. They're more worried about a woman holding an insurrection than, than a man, really, to be honest. And so, um, you know, all this information being said, Catherine the Great ruled how the Empress would, meaning she did not go in with, with blood and guns and knives. She went in with politics. Now, this led me down a whole nother rabbit hole as far as thinking is concerned because there's a lot of spiritual people and a lot of uh, Hebrews and everyone else out there 
who hates politics, who refuses to involve themselves in politics, who refuses to cast their, their energy behind one side or another. But what if I told you the mother is going to restore us to politics? And I've known this since November of last year, and I really didn't want to do to get into it because I understand what that means on multiple levels, having been a political pundit for four years. So I understood what this meant. I understood what this meant for me. I understood what this meant for our people. I understood what this meant. And so when I see things like, you know, you know, people standing out waving Trump by in the hood, you know, in Georgia, I understand that this is the path that the mother is going to take. So everybody is looking for the mother to send down a bunch of ships and to restore us in some other way. And she has other plans. And apparently I'm the only one who understands these plans because everyone else is either, you know, they either hate politics and they refuse to find a way to participate in it in any sense, or they're, you know, they can't participate in it because they're not citizens or some other, you know, weird thing that's going on with people and the way that they've programmed politics into our mind. But if you look at Catherine the Great, she ushered in the golden age in Russia. Now, if we're supposed to be in the golden age, how are we supposed to get to the golden age if we don't have an example? And we do have an example. That example is Catherine the Great. The, and the complaint that they have about her is a complaint that they have about all of our women. She was with a bunch of men. You know, she fraternized with a bunch of men. She has three kids by three different baby daddies. And she got this man put into King of Poland. And she was, she picked winners. And she, she put her energy into them. And she made them win. I mean, I don't see, that's how, that's no different from how our women are right now. Except we not making nobody king. Which we have the absolute power to. But see, all you do got, you know, not all you, let me not, let me. A lot of people, not you, because if you're following me, obviously, you're a little bit more open-minded than most, but many people, all you know, they're so focused on politics being fake, politics being this, politics being that, they don't understand that that is the mother's arena. And I think that it's going to hinder a lot of people from receiving their inheritance. And so if it's time for you to receive your inheritance and you truly believe that, and yet you do not, uh, you do not do desire to do the will of the mother, you're going to have a whole nother set of problems. That inheritance is going to be snatched away from you if you get it at all. And so in my desire not to see people unnecessarily hindered, I am, you know, requesting that people heal their relationship with politics. Yes, the politicians are who they are, and they have a lot of problems, and there's a lot of crap going on within that realm. That is absolutely true, 100%. There are a lot of problems. However, if the mother has decided she's going to use politics to restore us, who are you to argue with the mother? Who is the mother? You or the mother is the mother? Like, who is God? Are you God? Or is the Most High who is outside of us and inside of us simultaneously, is that God? Because if you want to be God, then you get to decide how this thing unrolls. But if you wish to worship the Most High and the way him and his partner have decided to operate this thing, then you don't have a choice. The, the writing is on the wall. The writing is clearly on the wall. And I really, you know, didn't even want to go into this stuff because I know how people are, you know, especially black people, especially when it comes to politics, especially when it comes to Trump. However, there's no way to get around some of this stuff. The most high deals in subtlety and the mother deals in politics. No if, ands or buts about it. And I, I appear to be the only one willing to put my energy into what she wants. Not what I want her to say, but what she wants to say. People are fine and well telling people what the mother is saying and this and that. But I'm telling you, I had a dream. I was given a vision in November on what was going to happen. And I said to these people, y'all are crazy. The only way that I will do this is if I have, I have to have a certain amount of 
you know, I have to, num the, the number one thing I said was I'm not going to risk anybody's life. So if we're going to do this the way that you guys want, you all have to make sure that nobody will lose their life as a result and no unnecessary pain and suffering as a result of involving ourselves, especially black people in politics. And that is being done. That path is being cleared. By this time, by the time this stuff is done in Georgia, no, nobody will ever prosecute anybody for involving themselves in politics. I, I promise you, this will be, th that is the complete undoing of that. And so if people can't go to jail, people won't be, have everything taken from them because, you know, I've been watching this politics stuff since 2015. And I seen a lot of people on both sides have everything taken from them for participating in politics. I've also seen a lot of people flat up killed like Seth Rich for involving themselves in politics and reporting corruption. Our people can't be the, the subject of that. We're not going to be cannon fodder for these, you know, demonic entities to throw us out there to get energy so that they can continue on with their wicked agenda. That's unacceptable to me. And those, that was a part of what I said had to be done. So I've been working behind the scenes for a whole year, literally, to make sure that if we got involved in this kind of politics stuff, no matter what side you get involved in, I want it to be safe for everyone. Not just, oh, um, I have a side and I want my side to be safe. No, I want it to be safe for everyone. Everyone should be able to participate in politics without the fear of being murdered. You know, Republican, Democrat, Libertarian, Independent, everybody. And right now that's not the case. It's, it's not the case at all. And so I, you know, this is what I've been, you know, this is what I'm petitioning the most high for, you know. And so... This is just to tell you, if you've never heard, if no one ever told you, if no one ever, you know, all these people who say, I'll never vote. Okay, well, you'll never be restored because the mother wants us to participate. She's going to make it clear what needs to be done. I know what I've seen. I hate what I've seen, actually. Um, to be perfectly honest, I hate what I've seen. I hate this information I've been given. But I, I know that it is true. And it's, it's just not pleasant, you know, to have this information. So I'm going to try to prepare people as much as I can. You're going to, this is a, one reason why I've separated all my information out onto these different channels, because it's, it's things that I'm going to have to say that you might not be interested in. And so if you're just interested in prayers, I have the Ortho Sister channel. If you're just interested in, in readings, I have the Astral Tarography channel. Um, and I'll, you know, you know, if you just want to know about how to rebuild your temple, um, financially, I have, uh, the Six Full Four Watchers channel. Um, so you'll be able to get the information that I'll be, you know, uh, amalgamating here, um, in those places. However, I know what I've been told to do and I'm not unwilling to follow instructions. I'm not, I'm not willing to disappoint the mother or the father by my lack of ability to follow instructions. So I do feel like the last piece of what I've requested is going to be restored um, imminently. And um, you're going to see uh, things from me that you've never seen. And so I feel like I should warn people about what's going on. I should give people the, the most high deals and subtlety. The subtlety is your chart. That's how this ties together. The subtlety is your chart. Everything is in your birth chart. And so if you haven't had a, a reading from me, specifically from me, I would say, you know, put start putting some money aside when I open up readings um, that you'll be able to get one because I can tell you what your superpower is. I can tell you, a, a, I can tell you what your superpower is. I can tell you every angel that works with you. Not every, I can tell you a lot of the angels that work with you. I can tell you the saint that works with you. I can tell you, you know, even the pantheon, if it's not 